Alright guys, I think we all know the enchantment mending in Minecraft, and to be honest, it's pretty OP. Hello there guys, my name is RamStuffMC, and this is where we're going to be talking about the enchantment mending, when it was added, what it does, how you can get it, why, how easy it is to get it basically, why it's so OP, and why it's so controversial, and finally we're going to be suggesting a few ideas on how Mojang could fix it. Hello there guys, my name is RamStuffMC, and in this video, we are going to be talking about mending the enchantment, and we're going to be giving at the end a few ideas on how Mojang could fix it. Before I start this video, if you enjoyed this video, please drop a like and sub, it would just sub channel a ton, and without further ado, let's get into the video. So now, I'm going to be demonstrating mending, the enchantment. So now, basically, what mending does is that it repairs your tools, except not in the way you think. Instead of spending something like an item, like another netherite ingot, to repair this axe, it will just be repaired simply with XP. Now, I'm just going to show it. Game mode. Survival. So now, as you can see, this is my axe. And I'm chopping the wood. Oh wait, I almost forgot this, okay. So now, look at my axe. It seems pretty somewhat damaged, right? Okay, well, barely damaged. But now see when I splash this bottle? Instantly fixed. Basically, as we can see, what mending does is that it just repairs your tools with XP, which, to be honest, is very broken and very overpowered, as we'll see it later on. But now, let's continue the video. So now, here are some ways that- now look, mending was added in version 1.9, the combat update. And, with mending, what happened was that, basically, now, look, we all know mending, basically. So, now see, it can be applied to literally anything, except for one enchantment, infinity. Did you know that pre-1.11, a bow with infinity and mending could exist? Yeah, that's true, I'm not lying to you. That is true. But Mojang made it so that infinity and mending are exclusive, because imagine having a bow with infinite arrows and it's also unbreakable. Just imagine how OP that is. So, Mojang even noticed this issue with mending, so they decided to make it so that infinity and mending are exclusive. But now, let's go on with the ways of how you can obtain mending. One way is that you could just search for it randomly, which, trust me, is not a good idea. On average, you'll have to go through... Now, look, this is literally just results from Google, by the way, but although I can't really be sure. On average, you have to go through 800 dungeon spawner chests to find one mending book. And for through desert temples, you have to go through four... Oh, no, wait, not 400 of them. Yeah, 200 of them. And at first, you might be thinking, okay, well, this is just for one mending book, right? Well, now. Now, look. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We're assuming they want a full tool set. Yes, including the hoe. With mending. You need 9 mending books. And keep in mind, dungeons are pretty hard to find, and desert uh, are pretty hard to find, and desert temples are pretty rare. Now, I'm not saying that it's impossible to find the enchanted book in other structures. However, the most reliable way to find mending is to literally just find it in an end city, like a piece of armor or tool already enchanted with mending when you enter, which isn't very reliable, as it could also have, for example, Curse of Binding, which would just completely mess up the enchantment. Or, you know, if you're fine with it. But now, another much simpler way, which I think broke the game, is this. Now, now we all know villagers, right? And this guy's name is Mob, everybody's name is Mob. So now, this villager. Now, villagers can do ridiculously OP stuff. Like, for example, for 22 emeralds and a book, I can get an efficiency 5 book. For 33 emeralds and a book, I can get protection 4 books. And by the way, this is infinite. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering as to why mending is, like, so, um, uh, so broken, basically, in this method, it's because, just in case you don't know, it's a treasure enchantment, which means you literally can't get it off of an enchanting table. And finally, let's check this. Mending for just 12 emeralds and a book and the highest price any enchanted book can go is one book and 64 emeralds That's literally the highest So it's pretty obvious that mending is pretty overpowered there, but now let's stop talking about mending and let's Just talk about other enchantments. So now let's compare mending. So now mending It's only benefits. So now let's talk about enchantment looting Now I'm gonna be in flying it so now, what does looting do? Basically, if you don't know, it pretty much just increases your drops, basically. Okay, so now. I think I'm just going to show. Okay. So now, this is what happens. 
Oh. Yeah, I shouldn't have enchanted it. Okay, so now. This is what, how much pork chop I'll get without the enchantment. That amount, as I will be showing. Spectator. Oh. Okay. Three pork chop. But now, let's look at looting. Four. Now we can go up to six if you're wondering. However, I just got the lowest drop. So the lowest drop with looting is higher than the highest drop without looting, which is pretty insane. However, now, what's the downside of looting? You're probably wondering. Well, the downside with it is that, let's say, for example, you're hunting with the skeletons for a skull. But for example, let's just say you don't want the coal or bones, even though they're both pretty useful. You'll probably get annoyed of them filling up your inventory. Or for example, let's say you're killing a mob, like a mob grinder. You're killing zombies in a mob grinder. And you get tons of flesh because of looting. Mending, though, doesn't do that. It simply only repairs, so it has no downside. But that's just one enchantment. Let's look at another. Fire aspect. So now normally, when you kill an enemy in Minecraft, it will normally just drop its meat raw. I think it's very obvious. But now, what happens if it has fire aspect? Now, fire aspect will auto cook the meat and will actually set our mobs on fire, which is pretty cool. Now, first you might be thinking, well, what's the downside of this? Now, I know this is a pretty stupid downside, but I needed to think of one. Well, let's say you're fighting somebody, okay, in a PvP fight, or a mob, and then they hit you. You'll literally be set on fire. Fire aspect 1 does 3 health points of damage per second. From the fire and fire aspect 2 does a whopping 7. So, if you get hit back and you don't have very good armor, it's actually pretty bad and it could actually lead to it, could actually lead to the boys. So, but mostly it's only in PvP. But now that's just two enchantments. Now, let's talk about Mending's older cousin, which is why I like to refer to it as Unbreaking 3. Now, what does Unbreaking 3 do that's unlike Mending? Well, it's also an enchantment that, that deals with durability, except in a different way. Mending, what it does, is that it just auto-repairs, and it can be done infinitely. Unbreaking, on the other hand, which isn't a treasure enchantment, which is why it's very loved by the community, is that every level, there's a 20% chance for it to not break after use. So, for example, level 1, there's a 20% chance for the item to not, to not lose one piece of durability when used. However, level 2, 40%, and level 3, which is the highest in survival, 60%. So, so if you could get to Unbreaking 5 with a tool, it would literally be unbreakable. More OP than Mending. However, obviously Mojang is never going to add that, as it would just ruin the game. Even Mending would be beaten by that. It would be essentially infinite durability. So now, we all know, now I've already shown what Mending does. So now, I'm going to show you guys what Unbreaking does. So now, Survival. And now, now look, look at the axe. See, it didn't lose durability, I got 60% chance. I got 60% chance. 60%. 60%. It took 6 trials before the chance finally messed up to show how just OP this enchantment is. However, it, the tool will eventually break, so it's not all that OP. Until you realize that with mending, if, you, if you're actually like looking at the durability of your item, the tool will essentially, it's essentially impossible for it to break. But now, let's talk about a few ways. Now look guys, Mending itself is just so overpowered to the point that honestly it's in a league of its own. Like no enchantment can even come remotely close. Like if we're doing a tier list of enchantments, it would go from Curse of Binding to Mending. Seriously, like, like seriously, Mending beats every enchantment like completely wrecked. Like the second best enchantment in my opinion is Unbreaking. This is how I've ranked them. Like Fire Aspect and then to Looting. By the way, there are obviously tons in the middle. And then I'm breaking, and then mending literally being all the way at the top, probably beating this and probably like going off screen seriously, because it's honestly just in the league of its own for how OP it is. But now let's think about some ways we can fix it. So now number one, now let's talk about why it's so controversial. It's because the reason people consider it to be so controversial is because you essentially never have to grind again. Think about it. You can just live in a little area with tons of villagers, never explore, and you can technically just have every, all your resources, which has also led to villagers after the 1.14 update being somewhat controversial, which I might make a video about if you want. So now, another thing is this. However, in defense of mending, people have said that the game will turn into an endless grinder without mending. 
Which, to be honest, I am actually in favor for. I used to be in favor that mending was a terrible addition. But now, after seeing that argument on Google, I actually somewhat agree. But now, let's talk about some ways it could be fixed. Number one, I don't think you should be able to obtain it from the winter trading. Seriously, it's just way too OP like that. Or maybe make it like a one in a million chance. Seriously, like, like something like a one in a million chance. Although, this is my idea. So basically now, you'd have to explore for rare structures, like a desert world. By the way, you can't do a slash place command on desert world, which is, this is the best desert world I can make. I know it's pretty bad. So now maybe, for example, in structures like desert wells with a new suspicious sand item, maybe there could be a 1% chance per sand block for you to get. Well, I think we already know. Mending. Now, I don't think this is OP at all, as I think it would really balance the game. And honestly, just make all players happy all around. All around, everybody would be happy, really. So, I think this addition is good, guys. However, I can see how Mojang could 100% make a better idea, as I've always said in most of my videos now, that they are a company, and that I am literally just some random person that plays the game. And that's just the reality of it. But yeah, guys, I don't really think any of these additions are going to be added, but to be honest, I think it will be really cool, as in the state I'm ending is in is just broken, and it's honestly in a league of its own. But yeah, guys, that's the whole video. If you enjoyed so please drop a like and sub, it would seriously help the channel a ton. You can also comment down below my video videos might have, I could do them. Maybe, maybe I'll talk about villagers next, and why they're so OP, and why they're somewhat controversial next. But yeah, guys, that's the whole video, and I'll see you guys in the next video, and of course, goodbye. Have a great rest of your day, and of course,